guys, it's Liv. So today I am going to be showing you a recipe for butterscotch blondies or butterscotch cookie bears, whatever you want to call them. I decided that I am going to do this video a little bit differently. Instead of doing a taste test at the very end, I'm going to be eating the finished product slash doing a taste test all throughout while I explain how to make it. So hopefully this will be kind of interesting and different. So let me know if you like this format below. But that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. Starting off, the first thing you're gonna do is just add some vegan butter and brown sugar to a bowl and use a spoon to mix that together until it's all combined. If you have a hand mixer, you could also use that too. It's gonna be hard to talk with this in my mouth. So then you're just going to add the non-dairy milk. I used almond milk, but you could use any kind that you like and give that another stir. The secret ingredient in this is a butterscotch pudding mix. You may think that it's kind of weird, but I was looking on the PETA website and certain brands of pudding mix are actually vegan. So just make sure you read the ingredients, but it's pretty easy to find pudding mix. I'm pretty sure most grocery stores would carry it. So you're just gonna add that to the bowl and mix it together and then add in your flour and baking powder and baking soda and stir that up. And this is probably the most satisfying part of making cookies or making brownies or anything like that is when you finally mix in the flour and it becomes that like batter and dough. And then you're just going to spread that into a cake pan. This is an eight by eight and sprinkle some non-dairy chocolate chips on top. These are the Enjoy Life brand mini chocolate chips. And then just pat those into the top. And then you're going to put that in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit and bake them for about 22 minutes. And then take them out, let them cool for about 20 minutes before you try and cut them. And then you can just dig in like I'm doing right now. <laughs> if you can find vegan ice cream, definitely use that. I use the Almond Dream vanilla and it was so good. So I thought I would be able to eat and explain this but since these are so chewy it's hard to talk while you eat them but seriously you guys have to try these. They are so good. Obviously they're not technically healthy but to me you can still eat stuff like this and still consider yourself as having a healthy lifestyle. As long as you eat relatively healthy most of the time and move your body, having treats like this once in a while definitely isn't going to hurt you at all. Gotta try butterscotch blondies at least once in your life, right? I promise anyone who you make these for would never guess in a million years that they were vegan. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.